what's up welcome back this is Ray hey today we're going to be reviewing something uh, that I haven't done before on the channel again this is a, a softbox type of lighting system and uh, this is from a new company it's a new startup based out of California called Lightbox and um, the way I got in contact with them I was looking through Amazon at softboxes and I noticed they all look the same plain black generic and, uh, <laughs> and I stumbled on this one and it caught my eye simply because of the design of it and the way it looks um no other reason than that and i actually reached out to the company and asked um, would they like me to feature it on the channel and um they said yes and they were kind enough to send this out uh so i want to thank lightbox for that um this is actually it comes with two of these it's a pair of 26 inch octagon fluorescent continuous light softbox so it's not a, a strobe or a flash it's a continuous light that would be good for video because it's not going to flicker and you can also use it for uh, product photography which I've been doing so if you're curious about an affordable um, quality lighting system that, that looks different uh, than the rest stick around we're going to be checking out the 26 inch light box soft box lighting system so uh, stay tuned Okay, so let's look at what uh, comes in the box and how you use it. This is the bag that the softbox comes in. That's the diffuser, of course. Comes with a long, long cord, fortunately. And the switch to turn it on is on the cord. Um, the way you open it is, I found the best way to do it is to partially open it this way. Push in on the bulb holder at the same time as I'm pushing up on this until it clicks and to remove it press down on this clip there that's pretty much it and um, this is a standard um, light stand mount here you just put it on top put it on top of this little tab here and tighten it down all right I'm gonna show you something that's kind of unique about this and it's the way the diffuser attaches um, most of these type of soft boxes have some kind of Velcro all around that you have to take time to attach. This one doesn't have that. It's uh, the way it's designed, the tension of the umbrella is what holds it in place. So um, it's quicker, quieter uh, to take apart and um, that's just something I've never seen before and I really like it. Okay, so pretty much this is the guts of the system. Let me show you the bulb. That's the first thing I want to show you. <laughs> okay. When I ordered this and I realized it's coming with one bulb, I was thinking, man, one bulb, that's not going to be bright enough. But when I got it, look how big this bulb is. And to give you a perspective, this is a normal, uh, a regular incandescent type of bulb. Look how huge it is. Um, so it's the fact that it's one bulb has nothing to do with it. Um, and this is a 105 watt um, fluorescent bulb. I don't want to drop it for sure. Um, but it, it really produces a lot of light. Sometimes it kind of produces too much light and I have to move the, the softbox a little back to soften it up. When you get a more, when you get an affordable lighting system, one of the weak links is, is usually the light stands, um, the stands it comes on. Um, this one is steel frame, but the, all the controls, the Titan knobs are plastic. There's one weakness I found with this system, and that is with the, the adjustment of the head. Um, there's detents in there, and you can feel it as you move. But what I notice when I tighten it, it almost feels like it can move, um, like I don't want to put pressure on it. So what happened when I took it apart, I realized that there's two plastic washers in there, and those washers have indentations on it that hold it in place. And I'm concerned that over time those washers can wear out and those indentations can wear down and it may not stay where you put it. So what I recommend, whenever you have to move it, rather than moving it with your hand, I recommend um, loosening, readjusting, and then tightening. Um, and you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so check this out. This is the real reason I, I really wanted to get a softbox system like this is, uh, right now you're looking at the morning sun coming in through this window and it's beautiful. Um, I've always wanted to be able to shoot videos like this whenever I want with good light. Um, but most times I'm supposed to be at work <laughs> early in the morning. So um, what I'm hoping is that I can use two of these soft boxes in, the, in this position. 
um, facing at me and I want to see if I can fake sunlight. So that's really what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to set both of these up. I'm going to close the blinds and um, see what the difference is. We should be able to tell a difference, but is it is it good enough? Is it convincing so that I can shoot videos at night? That's really the question. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, so this is what um, this is like a, a static test of what it looks like with the blinds closed, uh, just so we can compare the difference between sunlight and uh, and fluorescent softbox light. All right, so check this out. What you're looking at now is both soft boxes in front of the window. The blinds are closed. Um, and I'm using the Panasonic imaging app to look at myself here. And um, it really looks convincing, man. It really, if I didn't know better, <laughs> I would know that this is not a big window to my left. I can make videos at night with this. Yeah, so that's it. That's the deal. That's my review of the Lightbox 26 inch octagon system. And, and I'm looking at them now and I'm looking at the monitor. I'm thinking, man, it's really mimicking a big window well. Um, that's really cool. Um, if you're curious in getting a pair like this, because they come in pairs, the set is about $129 at the time of this recording on the Lightbox Amazon store. So I'll put a link below. If you're interested in getting one, uh, feel free to leave any questions below. And I'll also put Lightbox's email address um, because if you don't want to ask them any personal questions, you can. They, they'll definitely answer as well. So keep in mind, though, no matter what lighting system you use to shoot your videos, until next time, as always, keep it real.